hello and welcome to the channel the main point of this video is around the importance of the competition in the industry last year openai was enjoying sort of monopoly when it came to closed source api based models with the advent of all these open source models especially around llama 3 and rest of the lot from mistral from anthropix closed source models and various others now even OpenAI is running for the field. Just recently, right after the release of Llama 3.1, OpenAI has probably first time made something free, but still with some of the catches, which I will show you shortly. What they have made free is fine tuning with GPT 4.0 on your own custom data. Up till certain limit, which is quite generous, you can fine tune GPT 4.0, which is still API based on your own custom data and then you can even use that customized fine tune model for your own purposes with the help of API. The good thing is that GPT-4O's cost have also reduced 60% if you compare them to GPT-4O which was the previous version. In this video, I am going to show you a step by step guide as how you can do the fine tuning. Now, I won't be able to show you the actual running hands-on process. The reason is that they have attached some caveats with that and let me show you what I mean. So if you go to OpenAI's website, they have divided the people into different tiers. It starts from the free tier and it goes up to tier 5. Only if you are on this tier 4 and above, then you can use this fine tuning. What it means that you have already paid this $250 and you are 14 days plus since your first successful payment. Now, unfortunately, I have recently moved on uh, last week, actually moved on to my new OpenAI's API account. So I haven't spent $250 yet. Um, and that is why I can't really use this tier four. So if you have used this much uh, amount US dollars, then you'd be able to use the free uh, fine tuning for free otherwise not so i'm still at tier 3 so unfortunately i won't be able to show you but if and when i reach tier 4 i might be able to show you but i will provide you all the things which you need in order to do it i will also put the whole code from end to end in my blog and i will give you the link so that you can simply run it and it's fairly easy for that let me take you to my vs code now in this VS code, first thing you need to do is to install OpenAI. If you already have installed, make sure to upgrade it. Once you have upgraded it, export your OpenAI's API key, which you can of course grab it from platform.openai.com, which I just showed you. Once you are done, um, you need to import this client. Now I will stop here and I will show you something very, very important, which is this data set. Make sure that you have your data set in this format. For that, you would also need to make it crystal clear in your um, mind that why exactly you are trying to do the fine tuning. Fine tuning enables us to get more out of models or in other words, we provide context or we provide inside knowledge to the models about our own custom personal data. So, if we are not getting the results back from prompt engineering, if we are not getting the results back from function calling or tool use, only then we go for fine tuning. Because when we are certain that fine tuning is going to provide us higher quality results than prompting, and if we can give more few short learning examples to the model, and we would be saving tokens due to the shorter prompts, and we will be saving on latency cost too, only then we go with fine tuning and that is more true for the api based models because all of these models have already been pre-trained on a vast amount of data to use the model effectively it is extremely important to make sure that you are using an appropriate prompt i have already done various videos on prompt engineering so please search out the channel and even if you are doing fine tuning make sure that your prompts are fine once that's out of the way you need to provide after preparing and uploading the training data to OpenAI and I will show you how. On your screen, you can see a very simple data set. The data set, what this data set is doing, 
I am trying to fine tune a model by teaching it that it's a chatbot but its personality is Australian or Aussie which is a sort of a vernacular in Australia. So what I'm telling a system that the model is going to be acting as Beza who is a factual chatbot that's as Aussie as a meat pie. So that is just an Australian slang and then there is a user's role and the content is like what's the capital of Australia and then we have assistant in the content we are just giving it fair income can press the capital might good on you for asking so you see it is replying but as an Australian and similarly with every question it is giving us the response as an Australian so that is how you create your data set and that is the prompt template you must follow it should start with message it should assign the role of system then it should give the content it could be identical for all of them for the system one but for the role one for the user's role you need to provide good examples there should be more than 10 and try to do it around 500 to 1000 that should be more than enough for gpt 4 mini to get fine-tuned on your own data don't overdo it because overfitting won't do anything there it won't really um, add any value there is a point of diminishing returns because for example if you are just training it on 10,000 rows it is just going to break even maybe at 1000 so I would say that the sweet spot is around 1000 to 2000 don't go overboarded and if it's a small data set 100 to 500 is more than enough so this is a data set which you need to follow and i'll put it in my blog too and i'll drop the link in video's description now coming back to the code first we have imported this stuff we have initialized our client and we already have set our open as api key in the environment we are specifying the model as gpt 4 mini we are grabbing the key from the environment and then we are uploading the file this is the same file which i just showed you and this file will be uploaded to OpenAI for the fine tuning purpose. Once that's done, we are creating a job of fine tuning by specifying this is the model and make sure model ID is this. Don't just give GPT-4 or mini, it won't work. And then we are passing the file ID from here. You can of course upload multiple files if you like. And then these are few of the commands which you can run to check the status of the job because larger the data set is, the longer it is going to take and you can just specify and check it the status you maybe you could just put it in the loop which will keep checking and once that's done you can do this completion so make sure that at this point line number 26 here you either put it to sleep or maybe just put it in the loop and check the job status and then you can simply run this completion with the open a compatible api to get the answer back and when you will ask hello it is going to reply to you in Australian personality and then you can print it out so that is how you can not only fine-tune GPT-4 Home Mini on your own custom data set but also you can check out its status so that's it I hope that it was useful let me know what you think if you are still struggling not getting the results please put it in the comments and happy to help out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thanks for watching